Jonathan, you have written a challenging spiritual memoir about growing up. Jesus is better than you imagined. How has your understanding of Jesus changed over time? You know, I think for a lot of people, there is a, uh, a creeping intuition that the God they've been handed doesn't line up with the God that actually exists. People have been handed a God that is angry and arbitrary, that is rules-based, that uh, levels judgments against them, that's waiting to pounce on them for making mistakes. And I think that they know deep, deep down inside that God, the, the God that they believe exists, that they suspicion exists, is actually better than that. And so working from that assumption, I scoured uh, this nation and the globe looking for what that God might, uh, where that God might be. I was visiting monasteries and taking vows of silence. I was traveling traveling to places like Nepal with, with, uh, with people like Chris, and I was finding that Jesus often shows up, if we train our eyes to look for Jesus, Jesus shows up in places and spaces that we would least expect Jesus to be, and when we encounter that God face to face, we find that He really is better than we could ever imagine. Okay, Chris, you've chosen to be that kind of guy who left many comfortable locations. You were mentored by Mother Teresa um, before her death. Um, y y tell us what you've learned from that experience for this moment in history. Well, I, 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 I'm grateful for um, the witness and, and, and really the generous presence of folks like Mother Teresa. Uh, there's, there's been others who've been good guides and teachers along the way. And I think what what we'd see and what we learned the most from them wasn't necessarily the things that they said to us or the things that they told us, but it was watching how they lived, watching how they interacted mm -hmm. with folks, watching how they, they loved, and even uh, sort of very quietly watching the undramatic sacrifices they made. And I think that's really also the invitation to, to sort of how do we embody the credibility of our faith in 2016? And I think it's going to require a lot less words and a lot more love, a lot more kindness, a, a lot more engagement, a, a lot more humility, and, and, and a lot more making room, making room for the so-called other that invites us, right, into and, and, and new kinds of relationships, new kinds of, of being community, and that allows for these conversions and these reconversions to one another so that together we can be converted to God. All right. Chris Hewitt, Jonathan Merritt, thank you both very much. Thank you. Yeah.